Well, obviously the uh, UK's position is always that we want to keep talking if there's uh, any chance of a, of a deal. Uh, but we've also got to recognise that uh, the UK has got to be able to control its own laws. It's what people voted for. And uh, we've also got to be able to, to control our, our waters and our, our, our fishing rights. It's obviously also what people uh, voted for. And no sensible government is going to agree to a, a treaty that doesn't uh, have those two basic things uh, in it uh, as well as everything else. Uh, our door is open, uh, we'll, keep, keep, we'll keep talking, uh, but I have to say uh, that things are, are looking difficult and uh, there's a gap that needs to be, uh, to be bridged. The UK's done, an, uh, we've done a lot, I think, to, uh, to try and help and uh, we hope that our EU uh, friends will, uh, will see sense and, uh, and come to the table with, uh, with something themselves so because that's that's really where we are the reality is that the uh, rates of infection have increased very much in the last few weeks uh, here where I am in the in the northwest in uh, in Bolton they've actually done a fantastic job in bringing it down if you look at what people have done uh, in Greater Manchester really heroic efforts to get the disease under control so what we're saying to people now uh, over uh, this this Christmas period is you know think of those uh, those rules about the, the three households that you can bubble up with uh, the five days that is very much a maximum that's not a, a target people should aim for and I think people really get this people do get this all, all the things I'm seeing all the evidence I'm seeing is people really understand this is the time to look after uh, think about our elderly relatives avoid spreading the disease uh, keep it short keep it small you know have a have yourselves a, a very little christmas as i said 